Do you want to talk about some legal things while I show you how I put on my hair extensions? Yes. My name is Paige Sparks. I'm a lawyer. And I bet you wondered something like this before. Whenever I request discovery, how do I know the company is going to provide everything I'm asking for? Okay, yes. How do we know for sure? Because I can't go into the computer and make sure they're giving me all of my emails that I'm asking for. But the risk of getting caught doing that is so great that nobody takes the gamble of withholding evidence. As a lawyer, we are responsible for what you as the client do on a case we represent you for. So we cannot knowingly let you withhold evidence. Withholding evidence is like telling a lie. It's very hard to keep straight your story when you're like in the bigger picture of things. You can see it's blended in all the way around but if you style it it looks a little better and like more put together it usually becomes pretty apparent during depositions in a case if someone is withholding evidence because I've had them accidentally to refer to documents before or emails or they accidentally mention it because when you're in a depot you're just getting questions thrown at you constantly that you forget to keep your story straight if you're concealing something and that is one of the fun parts of being a lawyer when you catch someone doing that in a depot because you get to look at their lawyer and be like why hasn't that been produced and be really snarky if you get caught withholding evidence, the judge has a really wide range of punishment. They can use anything from sanctions to striking some of your pleadings so you can't say certain things to the jury as the punishment because they've got to correct the wrong of you withholding evidence. This is why Fox News got in so much trouble at their trial. That they withheld those emails and they had to settle in the middle of trial because they were getting punished so much they would definitely lose. If these types of punishments are so severe, I fire my clients if I catch them doing anything remotely like that because not only will my license potentially be in trouble, but I can get sanctioned too. If you have time, let your curls cool because it seriously makes a difference on how long they last. Can it happen? Yes. Does it happen? No, not really in civil cases because the range of punishment is so bad. Once you style it, you can just spray it and do everything like normal. So that's all I do and this is the back. If you try this, do not get frustrated your first couple times. It will be very difficult. There's a learning curve. Just don't pull it down or clamp it until you get your hair pulled out. That is the biggest help for me that it wasn't tight and I can get my hair out. Bye.